This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm super excited to have this guest back. It's been about five months, but I'll tell you what, they are getting ready to knock it out of the park. We're talking about Progressive Care, Inc. They trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol RXMD. And with us today is the CEO of the company. We're going to talk with her. Her name is Sheetal Mars, and she's going to bring us up to date what's going on with the company. Sheetal, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You know, give my listeners a little bit of a bout statement of who you guys are and what you guys do down there in Palm Beach County. Well, we're actually in Miami-Dade County, but we service uh, Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, parts of Martin County. Uh, We go as far as our cars will take us. (laughs) So we service a lot of patients and and a lot of uh, distinct, desperate areas and, and They have supported us for a really long time, about 10 years now. So a little bit about Progressive Care. Progressive Care is a holding company for a pharmacy. And the pharmacy is is really too simple a term for what we do. We're more of an accountable care organization. We're a fully formed health services company where we center a lot of our services around the provision of pharmacy products. But we provide a lot of healthcare services as well. So some of those things include medication therapy management, include 340B services where we provide pharmacy products to patients of non-for-profit entities, where we provide consultation uh, to doctor's offices, risk management services, health practice risk management. We offer patients the ability to have uh, a technician or a pharmacist come into their home and review their medications with them, same-day delivery, uh, a, a full inventory of brands, generic, specialty, compounds, you name it. We have it at our store. We're a one-stop shop, and we do about 20,000 prescriptions a month. I mean, it varies between 18 and 21,500 prescriptions a month this year, so we're really proud of the growth that we've had. We're... we're uh, a pillar in this community where a lot of patients see us as a place where they can go and feel safe and feel valued and, and get discreet packaging and get the products and the services that they need. So that's really what we are and what we're about. You know, last time you were on the show was the end of May, and at that time uh, you were talking about uplisting to the OTCQB. Uh, you did a press release out, I believe, on September 19th. Where are we at in that process? So uh, we have been approved. For OTCQB, I sent the application payment last night. Wow. So now we are just waiting for the the portal to reflect it. Um, We're we're reaching out to them to get an exact date, and we will let all of our shareholders know and um, when they can expect to see the change. But we are really excited. We we answered all their questions. We met all their requirements, and, and we have gotten it done. So we expect everything to happen before the end of the year at the very latest should be much sooner than that. You know, I've been following your company for for over a year, and uh, I saw in a press release, maybe it was a month ago or two months ago, you guys are looking at some new states for new license. Can you bring my listeners up to date on that? So we are licensed in the state of Florida and and about 10 more, uh, including Texas, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, um, and and some other states where we're getting some business here and there. We're adding three more states, including uh, Utah, Arizona. Uh, I think we recently got Pennsylvania, um, Georgia. So we we are really excited uh, that we can continue to branch out. A, a lot of the reason that we held back this year on reaching out and getting more licenses in new states was because of the regulations that have come down, the changes in the healthcare industry. We didn't know what was going on with, with health care on, on a government level, on a federal level. Um, after seeing how that all flushed out, we believe that we have the compliance protocols in place and the relationships with our, our PBMs in place where we can provide some more service to 
patients in other states. And so we have now resumed getting those licenses. You know, I was looking at your metrics on your company, and I keep on scratching my head. I've been in the financial industry since I'm 23. I'm 54 right now, so over 31 years. And usually, if you're going to sell a company, you could sell for anywhere about 2.5 to 3.5 times its revenues. I want my listeners to listen to this. In 2016, you guys did over $18 million in revenues. In 2017, you guys will hit pretty close to $20 million and not go over that. What are your thoughts on your current valuation? It seems to me you guys are grossly undervalued. Our valuation is extremely disappointing. It, it, it doesn't reflect the value of the company, doesn't reflect the value of the service, doesn't reflect anything we've accomplished in, in years. Um, so we look at, when we, when we talk to shareholders and we talk to investors, this is an opportunity. For some reason, people are not seeing Farmco, not seeing progressive care for what it really truly is. And it's, it's at a discount, at a penny in change. Right. It, you can't beat the price. No. I don't know why more people aren't jumping to get into and invest in a company that, for one thing, is a, is a phenomenal investment if you believe in what we do and what, how, how much growth we've had and, and that we're delivering profitability and that we're debil- deb- uh, delivering stability and, and cash flows and all of that, but that we're, do- we're providing a real service. I have over 60 employees. This is a real company doing real work and growing faster and faster every single year. So at one and a quarter, it's undervalued by 10 times at least. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, With us today is Progressive Care, Inc. They trade on the OTC. Pretty soon they'll be trading on the OTC QB. Uh, Their ticker symbol, take a look at their company. I love it. Uh, I've told you many times before, and other companies undervalued, and my track record's about 80 or 90%. This company is undervalued. Ticker symbol RXMD. And with us today is uh, Sheetal Mars. Let me ask you this. Do you have any new developments that you guys are going to bring out in 2018? And, and what's going on in your industry, you think, in 2018? So the industry is getting a, a little tighter. You know, you're going to see a lot more consolidation between big companies and, and small companies, and the regulations are getting much stricter. So one of the things that we are interested to see in, in 2018 is having more regulation on doctors and more HEDIS measures, more CMS, and CMS is a Center for Medicare um, Services. They are going to be looking at doctors and their prescribing practices, and adherence is going to mean more than ever next year. So it is imperative for every doctor that is a primary care practitioner for Medicare, for any Medicare or Medicaid patient, to have a pharmacy that they can rely on that will educate patients, that will help patients stay adherent and compliant. That is one of the biggest reasons why Pharmco is growing, because doctors understand that Pharmco takes a hands-on approach with patients, and it goes through everything from A to Z to help patients know how to take their meds, when to take their meds, and stay, keep taking their meds every single day as they need them. So we think that there's an incredible opportunity. We believe that level of control and strictness that is applying to CMS is going to apply to commercial plans as well in the coming future. And so that means the the value of Farmco and the value of a, a service or a company like Farmco, like Progressive Care, is going to be that much more important, that much more imperative for any pharmacy, even for a pharmacy to stay in business. They need to provide compliance and adherence and MTM and 340B just to keep going, just to keep staying alive. And we are not interested in just staying alive. We're interested in expanding. We're interested in going into Palm Beach and and developing a real foothold there. We're interested in going into the Orlando, Tampa area and keep going further north and expand throughout the country. And we know we can do it because we have the model to deal with the changes in this industry. Another thing that's really coming up is, is 340B and MTMs. And we know that our our staff is the most capable in both of those areas. Our staff is um, trained in providing 
HIV services. They are HIV and infectious disease trained technicians and pharmacists. We have a specifically trained uh, pharmacist in compounding. We have the top technician in the state of Florida doing MTMs, and that person works for my company. So I'm very, very proud of what we've built here and what we are capable and ready to do in 2018. I just think the sky's the limit. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Obviously, you, you've said a lot, and you said it all today. And it's my opinion that your stock is uh, undervalued, but at a market cap at 4.6, which should be around uh, 50 million market cap, you know, I'm giving my stamp of approval. And uh, if you're listening to this, uh, I think you should go out and buy the stock at uh, a little over one cent. In closing, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to touch upon that you would like to get out there to my listeners? I think uh, the, your listeners should take a really keen look at my company. Look at the fundamentals. Look at what we've done. Look at our history, our track record, my management team, uh, and really look at it with your own eyes. Don't look at where, what the stock trends have been doing. For some reason, people don't understand our company. They don't take it seriously, and they should, because we've been around a long time. We've been around 10 years, and we keep delivering, and our shareholders will benefit, and we're working hard to make sure that we deliver not only good service to our customers, not ser- great service to our, our patients, our doctors, or take care of our employees, but to deliver results to, to shareholders. And, and I think that once uh, your listeners just take a really good eye and look at it, they're going to see what I see and that this company is, is a sleeper and it, it, it should be valued so much more and it's a steal right now. You want to give out your website address? Our website address is progressivecareus.com. I want to thank you for coming on the show. It's always a pleasure. I wish you nothing but continued success. Hopefully you'll come back on the show in 50 or 60 days and give us an update. Absolutely. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.